What is fermentation and specifically fermentation in skincare? Today we are not talking alcohol or birthday cake or cheese, unless it's vegan cheese, but we're talking about fermented black rice. We're talking about antioxidants and specifically some of the ingredients that you find in here. But before we dive into the pores of your face and the ingredients lists, let's talk about what fermentation is because although it's a new skincare trend, it is not a new process. Fermentation has been around since God made dirt and it is a process that organisms use to create energy or to ensure that they live, especially in oxygen-less environments. There are three different types of fermentation. There's alcohol or ethanol fermentation, there's lactic acid fermentation, and there's acetic acid fermentation. And you may have heard of some of these. For instance, when it comes to baking bread, yeast is fermented and CO2 bubbles are created, which causes the bread to rise. Same with cakes. When we exercise, specifically anaerobic exercise or exercise in an oxygen-deprived environment, our cells have to work overtime and they have to switch into a new pathway that they use to create energy or ATP, adenosine triphosphate. But fermentation also plays a role when it comes to bacteria because you see bacteria can ferment things. Fun fact, did you know that some scientists found that bacteria can actually ferment plastic? This means there might be a new way to break down plastic in the environment by the use of bacteria to, you know, help slightly alleviate our plastic problem. We're gonna break that down later. Get it? Break down, because fermentation, break down. No, really, please try to be sustainable when you can. We're going to talk about why this is made with recyclable and biodegradable materials just a little bit later. Which, by the way, we are working on this video with Haru Haru because I am obsessed with them and the antioxidants and fermented ingredients they put in here. But hold up and back to the bacteria. We know that bacteria are master fermenters and this gives us these healthy probiotic foods such as sauerkraut and kimchi and yes, even yogurt, preferably the almond or coconut milk vegan kind. And fermentation is also why we can turn grapes into alcohol, potatoes into vodka, and grains into beer, all because of this amazing process. If you really want to simplify it, fermentation is taking things and breaking them down into smaller parts so that they can be better utilized or directed to where they need to go. And although our body does this naturally, specifically in our gut, what happens when it comes to our skin? Even enzymes, which we talk about all the time in the realm of exfoliation for skincare or in our gut's nutrition, can be synthesized through the fermentation process. For example, let's take the very controversial coconut oil, which this brand does not include, but let's talk coconut nuts for a second. Get nuts with me here. Coconut oil, or other oils for that matter, are made of triglycerides. They are these three fatty chains that are bound together by a glycerol backbone. In order to be used properly by the skin, those need to be separated. And for coconut oil to actually be beneficial for acne, you need to get those fatty acids off of that little backbone and into their own separate chains. And it's thanks to enzymes that our skin is able to do that. Now here's why coconut oil isn't helpful for everyone. And it's it's because can our skin actually break those down? Does our skin have the necessary enzymes and the necessary things in order to do that? So fun fact, that's why a coconut oil for some people works better than benzoyl peroxide, which was also shown in a medical study, but why for other people and most people, it causes a boatload of acne. And if you want to know more about coconut oil, oh, do I have a scientific analysis here for you? You're welcome. You just call me your coconutty friend. The fermentation process in skincare or even food manufacturing is is usually used to break things down or to make alcohol or extract sugars, etc. But specifically in some skincare products, there are brands who have been able to do this. And Haru Haru is one of them. We did an entire video where I discuss what Americans don't know about Korean beauty. They really helped us dig into all of the details and the history of why K-beauty exploded a few years ago. And from using them and playing around with the products, I've learned so much. And I've also experienced so much because I swear to God, this toner right here, this is like kombucha for your face. Like kombucha, think fermented probiotic bacteria, healthy bacteria in your kombucha. Kombucha is like healthy soda. This is like kombucha for your face. One of my absolute favorite toners, our beautiful butterfly wife, Tyler, is equally as obsessed when he and I banter back and forth on Instagram about our love for this kombucha drink for my stratum corneum. 
This is probably my favorite product from the entire Haru Haru Wonder line. All of their stuff is vegan and cruelty free. They've actually won awards for both their formulations and designs, and the formulations are what actually have the fermented ingredients, as well as this black rice, this fermented black rice. Now, black rice has been grown in Korea for thousands of years, and it's a huge part of the food and the overall culture. But did you know that black rice actually has 30 times the amount of antioxidants than white rice does? And that kind of brings us into what is an antioxidant? Think of an antioxidant as the mediator to the home wreckers that want to destroy your body and your face. There are things called free radicals or reactive oxygen species that are produced by the sun, by the environment, by pollution, by our own stress. And they are trying to destroy us from the inside out. Yes, did you know that even breathing creates ROS? Even breathing is aging you. But please keep breathing, because if you stop breathing, you're gonna die a lot faster and you won't have the chance to age. But we'd rather you age gracefully than just <sighs> Good job. Well, these little damaging free electron mofos are everywhere, and they want to destroy your cells by tearing them apart. You can think of them as people who knock on your door and say, hey, I'm gonna steal your wife. I'm gonna steal your kids. We're stealing everybody around here. And obviously this is not good because it can tear families, AKA skin cells or biological organs apart. Well, this is where antioxidants come in. Antioxidants kind of step in as the mediator and they're like, yo, take me instead. I've got a lot that is really likable. I'm really awesome. And instead of tearing apart their family, let's you and I go on a date. Let's you and I hang out. I'll be your friend. And they quell the situation so well that the ROS and the reactive oxygen species hang out with the antioxidants and pair to them instead of destroying your face, aka wrecking the home. And this is why antioxidants are a great boost to skincare routines. This is why they are awesome in cleansers and moisturizers and any other treatment really. But when you can find a product that has both, that is excellent. And you see, the fermentation process is sometimes what allows that. Now, you could just put some antioxidants, you could put some sugars, you could put some amino acids directly into the product, that is true. But you can also get those by way of fermentation. And again, it's the black rice in here that has those antioxidant properties, 30 times more than white rice, and the fermentation process that allows this to happen. These are some of my favorite products. They also have a bamboo mist, which is like walking through a bamboo forest in the dewy dawn. Like if you were in Hawaii or Korea, A plus, I would say like a nine and a half out of 10. I would recommend closing your eyes and walking through this skincare forest. Uh, but for my personal face, the kombucha is my fave. Don't take it from me, take it from Tyler, our potato wife. This is life. Also watch this. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's drinkable. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Th that is art. That is art. Kombucha girl has nothing on this. I'm sorry, but come on. Art. This is kombucha girl in skincare form. Oh my god. This is another one of the products that actually grew on me. This is the facial oil, the black rice facial oil, and my skin soaks this up. It has jojoba, which my skin loves, but it's also got rice bran oil and sweet almond oil. This actually grew on me because lavender is not my favorite scent, and this one does have a lavender smell, but good news, Haru Haru also now has unscented options. So if you want something that's lavender free, they got you covered. But I've actually found that this blend of oils goes into my skin really nicely and the fact that it is infused with those antioxidants and that it doesn't just sit on my skin but it actually absorbs nicely makes my face hap hap and hap hap is code word for happy if you didn't get that then you need to brush up on your banks and lingo I'm so glowy now James Well should be proud. On every package, they do share that they won the Red Dot Award of 2019, and I think another one in 2020, but the real kicker for me is what they do for the environment because they do their best to be sustainable and environmentally friendly. All of their packaging is printed with soy ink and on FSC certified components. Basically, the FSC is the forestry certification, and they ensure that anything that is cut down is done sustainably, people are paid fair wages, and that things are either replanted or forested properly when they are used. All of their stuff is cruelty free. The Haru Haru Wonder line, specifically this one is vegan and I'm just reading the side of this one and it says 10,000 parts per million rice extract. And this is actually my least favorite product from the line, but again, this kombucha for the face. Did I mention that most of these have hyaluronic acid? 
This right here is my favorite rice grain a little stress tester. Like if there were ever skincare in a fidget spinner form, this would be it. I called this an egg with a chunk taken out of it, but it is actually the shape of a rice grain. It's no wonder that they won so many design awards. And again, the formulas also deserve an award. This is a really nice lightweight moisturizer. Again, with all of these antioxidants, fermented ingredients, and hyaluronic acid as a humectant. And even though I'm putting this over an oil right now, something that I love about this moisturizer is that it's so soaks into skin so nicely, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling overly saturated. And if you're dry, this works excellently underneath something that is a little bit thicker, or you could always layer the oil on top to seal everything in. This is the newest addiction to my addition. I said addition, addition to my collection, not addiction. This is a collection, not an addiction. It is an obsession, slightly. <laughs> but this is the newest one. This is the Wonder Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil, and I'm hoping this is going to be like a dupe with a DHC. The DHC cleanser is a cult favorite. I no longer use them because I am vegan and cruelty-free. Gothamista got me hooked on that one, um, but I'm hoping that this is going to be a replacement because there's a lot of reasons that DHC is not the best brand to support. I also got this one in the unscented version because lavender is not my favorite, and I'm giving the unscented line a try, but this is such a lovely and soothing cleansing oil that does not strip the skin. And you could use this as a single cleanse, maybe in the winter. I would recommend this as a double cleanse though, and I would definitely use this one first. And you know what I just did? I did the thing, again, where I pour product on myself and I don't have anything to wipe my hands on. Did you know that I sit in all of my videos and did you know that most of the time I end up wiping things on my pants or on the floor? The carpet that I sit upon is thoroughly moisturized. Your carpet has a better skin routine than my own face. I have some thoughts on this, especially as I use it more, but I've also got some thoughts on some other questionable products that have popped up that I've been trying. So if you're not subscribed, make sure that you have that notification bell hit so you don't miss the uploads when they happen. There are plenty of brands out there that are putting fermented ingredients into their products, but now you understand the science behind why, and you have a recommendation for one that actually has both fermented ingredients, hyaluronic acid, and antioxidants. If there is something that your pores need to try, and by try I mean guzzle, it would definitely be this. This I would definitely recommend both for the aesthetic reasons and for the way that it works on skin. And for those who want something unscented, I'm really enjoying this, but I will have to give you updates. But always remember that skincare is self-care and you should be choosing products that work for you because skincare is a choice not a chore. This is normally the part of the video where I tell you to like and subscribe, but if you've actually made it here, you are special because not everybody does, and today you're being rewarded. So first off, meet some of the potato wives. If you didn't know the beautiful butterfly potato wives, um, meet them. We have some exciting stuff in the pipeline, and if you want to be first to know, I could just tell you, but I already have in specific live streams. And if you want to come ask me skincare questions live or win giveaways or just chat about the things that we put on our face and into our bodies, this is our live stream stream schedule. That's got everything from Clubhouse to Instagram where we interview dermatologists and even Amazon Live because yes, that's a thing. Oh my god, I got a chair. You don't understand how excited I was to get this chair. Anyways, you should have been there for the live stream. It was an adventure. The like, the subscribe, moisturize the button, love your face, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.